Um, this is Sambucus Mexicana. Sambucus Cerulea Mexicana. <clears throat> and it's got a compound leaf, you know, so you can see it. Um, older leaves will have more leaflets on it. This will have typically at least five leaflets. So that's one leaf. It's got five leaflets. You know. <clears throat> you see how this has got a stem in the middle between that those two leaflets? That's kind of like poison oak does. It's got a stem in the middle. <clears throat> so this will produce a white flower and it's in a cluster. You can't uh, because it's so dry you really can't see it that much but this was the cluster right here and they're they're cream color or white and uh, they call that elder blow b-l-o-w and you can use that to you can it's edible uh, you can most people would pick it and dip it in batter and fry it like fritters and make fritters out of it <clears throat> but medicinally it's really good for um, for influenza, for any kind of a flu or something like that. You just make a tea out of it and you drink it and it helps you with the symptoms of flu. <clears throat> it's got a berry, a purple berry on it. There's several species, uh, three species of elderberry in North America, but the red elderberry doesn't grow here because that's considered a poisonous plant. But even this one, um, some people, if you eat it raw, they don't feel good. You know? It doesn't bother me but some people it doesn't. But So if that happens, it's best on any wild plant like this to cook it anyhow, um, especially if you've never tried it before And because cooking it destroys a lot of toxicity in, in a lot of plants. So <clears throat> elderberry, you know, Mar Marianne, I think we'll be bringing out an elderberry pie that everyone can taste, you know. It's, uh, you won't have a big piece of it because it has to go a long ways. But, I like them, and, and we dry elderberries, we put them in pancakes and muffins and stuff like that, like you would blueberries. I've made elderberry wine, um, and elderberry is kind of neat because uh, it'll grow up into Big Bear, you know, up Sugarloaf Mountain, I've seen the elderberry up there. So if you're into harvesting elderberry, you can harvest over a very long growing season, but like I can harvest elderberry down in Riverside in June. And I can harvest elderberry this time of year up in Big Bear, you know. So if the elderberry down in is all gone down in Riverside, I just I just go higher in elevation and look for it, you know. And you'll find some place where you find it perfect, you know. Uh, same thing with the elder blow, you know. Sometimes you just want the flowers, so hey, you know you already gone to fruit in Riverside, so we, we go up to Cajon Pass and hey, it's in flower there, you know. Or, yeah. So, you know, plants that have it, they can grow in a big variation of altitude. You can really, that really extends the harvest time. So, so the blow is a full bloom? Yeah. It's in full bloom? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You've seen those. That, mm -hmm. You can see them from the freeway. Yeah. It's, a, it's a, what we call a 65 mile an hour plant, you know. I mean, you can go down the freeway and identify it at 65, you know. Some plants are five miles an hour, you know. 